Let's talk about microplastics for a second. This is something that more and more is on my radar because it doesn't appear to be going away. And if you haven't heard before, microplastics just refers to small bits of plastics that have made its way into food and even your body tissues as you eat them or consume them through a drink form. Maybe a water bottle has melted some of that microplastic into liquid and you've consumed it. So we know that these do produce harmful effects such as disrupting hormones in your body and we don't really know the long-term effects yet, but it's not good. Now it's not reasonable or feasible to get rid of plastics altogether because they're so interwoven into every part of our lifestyle. But here's something you can do right now to reduce the amount of microplastics you're consuming through food and drinks. And that is try to avoid PET or PET plastics and focus on HDPE plastics if you're going to consume drinks or food in plastic containers. PET stands for polyethylene terephthalates. So these are plastics that are pretty thin and cheap and easily break down, especially when heated. And you're gonna see these used a lot with single use water bottles and microwavable food containers. Any kind of single use plastics, they commonly use PET. So stay away from these if you can. HDPE is another common type of plastic you'll see that's a little thicker and a little more resilient against heat. So you're less likely to get that leaching into your food or your drinks or even something like laundry detergent where it could make its way onto your clothes. So HDPE is more resilient and you're better off with this. Now these are not the only two types of plastic, but they are by far the most commonly used and you can see them on most plastic containers. So if you flip the bottle upside down, you're usually going to see some letters and numbers. So look for PET. If it contains that, avoid it. If it has HDPE, you're less likely to get microplastics leaching into whatever you're consuming. Now I'll be honest, this is not something that was on my radar uh, until recently and we've started moving away from it. If you looked at our kitchen five years ago, you would have seen a lot of plastic trays. We didn't warm them up in the microwave, but we did use them for food storage. Now we've moved toward glass and paper. So I recommend you do the same thing. But again, it's, it's really tough to get rid of plastics completely. So at this point, I just wanted to give you one thing you can do to help reduce your overall microplastic consumption and the load on your body. Follow me for more practical health tips like this.